the holiday season is festive and triggering. If you've ever experienced feeling triggered during the holidays, this episode is for you. If you're not creating and honoring your boundaries, you're creating your own suffering. In this episode, I share tangible steps to help you create strong boundaries that will help you in your personal and professional life. Today's episode is sponsored by Amplified Soul Live, my three-day transformation, transformational event in Los Angeles to help you amplify your presence, influence, and impact. The 2019 event takes place in February, and I would love to see you there. For info and tickets, head to rubyframon.com forward slash ASL. And finally, whether you're new to this podcast or you're a loyal thought leader, please make sure that you take a moment to drop a rating and a review on iTunes because this shit helps. Now, it is time to end your suffering by creating solid boundaries just in time for the holiday season. Welcome to today's Thought Leader, where I'm challenging you to rise up, speak up, and create a movement. I'm your host, Ruby Fremont. And I'm here as a catalyst for you, the new generation of thought leaders. Join me every week as I dive into raw and real conversations that will help you amplify your presence, influence, and impact. Merry Christmas Eve, thought leaders. I am back with a solo episode today. And um, I hit Facebook up and Instagram asking you what you'd love for me to talk about on Christmas and New Year's. And a lot of what came up was issues around family, issues with triggers, issues with boundaries. I mean, let's be honest, despite the festive nature of this holiday, there is a lot of shit (laughs) that happens. And many of us have our own drama. Let's just call it drama. Many of us have our own issues with family. Um, And many of us have shit that comes to the surface when the holidays are around. You know, maybe you're newly single and you've never spent the holidays alone. Maybe there are family members that always trigger you and you have to spend Christmas with your family. Maybe you have to spend time with your parents and they're your biggest mirrors. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that happens throughout the holiday season that can cause stress as well as like money, right? Everyone's shopping, buying gifts, things that um, we don't necessarily have to do, but feel like we should be doing. So the holiday season tends to have a lot of stressors for a lot of people. So today I really wanna focus on boundaries and triggers, and I wanna make this short and sweet so you have something to walk away with, something that is going to help you learn how to set boundaries, understand your triggers, and start honoring yourself in a way where you can actually protect the things that need protecting, like your self-worth, like your confidence, like um, who you know yourself to be. So most of you don't actually know that you need to set boundaries. That's the thing. We, We simply know how we feel. What I mean by that is we don't ever in our life, we have never learned how to set boundaries. We, did, we didn't even learn about boundaries. We learn about this when we're older. It's like, oh, you need to set a boundary around that. Cool, but how? We know that boundaries need to be put into place because when a boundary is crossed, it is going to trigger something within us. So you have a built-in alarm system. And this built-in alarm system is going to go off any time someone crosses a boundary, whether you are conscious of this boundary or not. So you can know that a boundary needs to be put down, or maybe you have no idea that a boundary needs to be put down. But when someone crosses that boundary, despite whether you're aware of it or not, the trigger is going to go off. The alarm system is going to go off. When that boundary is crossed, you're going to feel triggered. You're going to feel, um, you can feel anxious, you can feel frustrated, you can feel angry, you can feel upset, you can feel depleted. There are so many things that come up when a boundary is crossed, but it always begins with that trigger. And I just want to share that I am not, um, I don't have a, a perfect 
family situation either. And I definitely have my own set of triggers back home. Um, and I've definitely done my work over the past, you know, 10 or so years of setting these boundaries down. So I want to start off by saying, I know this shit is tough. But what I have also learned is that when we don't set our boundaries, when I wasn't setting my boundaries, I wasn't protecting myself. I wasn't protecting my growth. And I would be the one to suffer in those situations, not them, not the circumstances, not the situation. It would be me who is suffering because by not placing down a boundary, you are then creating your own suffering. Okay. When you refuse to put boundaries down, you create your own suffering. It is not your brother or your aunt or your dad or your grandparents. It is not all these different people who are making you suffer. It is you creating your own suffering by letting these people trigger your boundaries. So when it comes to boundaries, I want to emphasize that boundaries can be both personal and in your business. What, um, what came to light this year for me in my business is a lot of the personal boundaries I had, I was, I'd done all the work in my personal boundaries, you know, which family members do I need to ensure that I'm protecting myself from and how am I going to protect myself from that? And how do I, how is this going to look? What do I do when I'm around them? But I wasn't setting boundaries in my business. Um, I have given a lot away for free. Um, if you're one of those people who have received from me, uh, don't take this the wrong way. I, I love giving. I love serving. I don't regret any free tickets that I've given away, any free coaching sessions that I've given away. I don't regret any of that. But it was out of fucking control. My giving was out of fucking control and I needed to set a boundary because by giving oh, so much away, I wasn't honoring my gifts. And when I wasn't honoring my gifts, other people don't then honor my gifts. And I share that with you just as one example of, of the ways in which um, this translates in our business. Sometimes it's um, with people who work for you, even VAs. Maybe it's your VA. Maybe it's the person who does your graphic design. Maybe it's the person who posts your podcast. Maybe they're not getting shit done on time and um, they're lagging in their response time and you're not saying anything because you just keep telling yourself, oh, it's okay, they're busy. But it aggravates you. That aggravation is a sign that a boundary has been crossed. Okay, that feeling that you're left feeling, experiencing, that is a sign that a boundary has been crossed. So take that sign and start creating those boundaries because you and only you are responsible for keeping your boundaries in place. And that begins by you identifying what those boundaries are. So I'm gonna share with you four questions, four questions to ask yourself. Um, in order to create these boundaries. Um, before I dive into the four questions, I want to just remind you that anytime you feel triggered, so anytime you feel um, like something set you off and you're left feeling angry or sad or anxious or depleted of your energy or frustrated or upset, that is a sign that a boundary has been crossed. Trust your internal alarm system. Okay, so four questions to ask yourself when it comes to creating boundaries. Question number one, what are you protecting? What are you protecting? So for the example I shared um, about my work and giving things away for free, giving away too much for free, what I am protecting in this situation are my gifts, are my talents, are the things that I've been trained to do, I've trained myself to do, this is what I am protecting. Question number two, why do you need to protect this? 
why do you need to protect this? So identify what it is that you're protecting and then ask yourself, why do I need to protect this? So for me, and I'm just the same example, why do I need to protect my gifts? Because my gifts are the way in which I make money. My gifts are the way in which I'm able to serve people. My gifts are the way in which I can serve and feel fulfilled with my life. I mean, that deserves protection. So get super clear on why you need to protect what it is that you're protecting. And then question number three, who triggers this boundary? So we're going to meet people in our lives that trigger our boundaries. And we can't predict who those people are. But I am certain that at this point in your life, you are aware of specific people who tend to cross those boundaries often. It's really important that you identify those people. Who are they? Are they your, you know, people who work for you? Are they family members? Are they friends? Who triggers this boundary? And then question number four, what triggers this boundary? So this goes beyond people. Maybe there's a certain thing that people say to you that when they say it, it triggers you. Maybe there's a certain thing that um, people do, and when they do this around you, it triggers you. And there's a lot of different reasons why. I mean, one is there's probably something that you need to work on <laughs> within yourself. Let's just be honest. There's probably something that you need to work on within yourself if there's something that is always triggering you, um, and it doesn't matter who's doing it. And the other reason is that, you know, if there's something that is always constantly triggering you, then there is something for you to dive into. You know, what, why does this action or habit or pattern or situation trigger me? And the more you start to dive into your triggers, the more you start to understand why they exist and what really caused them to come up. Um, so an example of what triggers this boundary could be, um, I, I get triggered anytime um, someone doesn't do what they say they're going to do. <laughs> this is like a legit real trigger of mine. When someone doesn't do what they say they're going to do, I get super duper triggered. And by diving into that, what I learned is because integrity is one of my top values. It's my number one value and I carry it in everything that I do. So when someone shows up in a way that is not integral, if someone is saying one thing and doing another, that causes friction. It, it triggers the shit out of me because integrity is something I value. So if there are certain situations that trigger you, there's probably a reason why. Let me retract. There's a real reason why. <laughs> it's not probably. There's a reason why you're being triggered. So dive into what that is. It might be that you have some shit to work on within yourself or that um, this action or pattern that people are doing in front of you that, that triggers you, that doesn't align with what you value. So I'm gonna recap those four questions to ask yourself and, and these questions help you create the boundaries, okay? So number one is what are you protecting? So um, declare what it is that you're protecting within yourself. Is it your self-worth? Is it your self-confidence? Is it your gifts? Is it your talent? Is it your time? Is it your money? Is it your energy? Um, and then question number two, why do you need to protect this? So why do you need to protect your time? Why do you need to protect your energy? Why do you need to protect your self-worth? Really dive into that because the more you understand why, the stronger um, you become at holding these boundaries. Question three is who triggers this boundary? So if there are specific people in your life that you know, you know without a doubt, they always trigger this boundary. List out those people so you can really recognize who these people are. And number four, what triggers this boundary? So is there something that people do around you that um, always triggers this boundary? Write that out. Now, once you've done that, you're going to go into setting the actual boundary. And this looks like 
this. And, I, and I'm going to have all of this in the show notes for you, but here's what it looks like. The boundary I am setting is blank. This boundary protects blank. So you're basically going to state what the boundary is, describe it in the first part of that statement. And then the second part of that statement, this boundary protects, you're going to state what it is protecting so that you have a clear picture of what this boundary is. Thought leaders, we need clarity in order to take action on things and boundaries are something that we need to take action on. Boundaries are not a passive thing. It's not that you create it and they're just gonna magically be there all the time and work themselves. No, you create the boundary and you have to work that boundary. You have to take action on that boundary. So the clearer you are on what these boundaries are, the easier it is to take action on them. The second part of boundary setting is when blank happens, I will blank. So this is all about understanding what are you going to do when the boundary is crossed? What are you going to do when you go to that Christmas dinner and, you know, the uncle who's always teasing you and making you feel like shit, he triggers you. What are you going to do when that happens? Create your plan because, I mean, just because you set boundaries doesn't mean people aren't going to cross them. People are going to cross your boundaries, but now you're aware of that. And now you can create an action plan in regards to how you move forward. So the actual boundary setting sounds like part one, the boundary I am setting is blank. This boundary protects blank. And the second part is when blank happens, I will blank. So that is how we set boundaries and it is your responsibility, yours alone, to create those boundaries and to protect those boundaries. Because those boundaries are protecting something within you. People are going to cross your boundaries all the fucking time. You're going to get better at setting those boundaries and standing by those boundaries. You're going to get better at understanding what you're going to do when the boundary is crossed. And this isn't about reacting by creating, by following these questions in this format that I just shared with you, you're actually going to prevent yourself from reacting. And instead, you're going to shift into acting. You're going to shift into taking conscious action, action and intentional action after you are triggered when a boundary is crossed. Because when you're not aware of what the boundary is and the boundaries are being crossed, you are going to be highly, highly reactive. Trust me, I've been there. Um, for those of you who don't know, I used to actually be quite a reactive person, but things shifted. We can shift, we can transform, and it all has to do with how well we know ourselves and setting these boundaries. It's going to help you understand yourself at a different level because you are now going to understand what are the things that trigger me? Why do these things trigger me? What is it that I really want to protect? What is it that I really want to value? And these are all really crucial things to understand in terms of your growth and evolution as a human being, as a leader, as an entrepreneur. So ask yourself those questions, create those boundaries for yourself and put them to work ASAP now in both your personal and professional life with family, with your audience, with your people that you work with, put them into action now because there is a part of you that is seeking to rise up and you can't rise up if you're constantly letting yourself be triggered, if you're constantly creating your own suffering by not creating these boundaries. So that's it. That's all for today's episode. If you dig this episode, please share it with a friend and be sure to drop a rating and review on iTunes. Thank you so much for joining me on today's Thought Leader, where I'm challenging you to rise up, speak up, and create a movement. I'm wishing you all a very, very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever it is that you're celebrating, Festivus. Um, and I'd love to hang out with you in Los Angeles in February. So if you see yourself as a leader and are ready to amplify your impact, 
Join me for three transformational days in Los Angeles at Amplified Soul Live, February 22nd to the 24th, 2019. For info and tickets, head to rubyfremont.com forward slash ASL. If you have any questions about today's episode or want to share some of your experiences with boundary setting, or you just want to say, hey, what's up? Reach out to me on social media. My handle is at I am Ruby. I will see you here next week, uh, which is New Year's Eve. How exciting. I'll see you here next week with a brand new episode of Today's Thought Leader.